So here at Rodriguez, we have lots of collaborative spaces, but our main focus is the stairs behind me. We let our teachers come out into the pods and give students exploration time so that they can do their small groups or kind of move kids around. And it gives them that free space to roam and really work together. A collaborative space is different from a traditional classroom because kids are allowed a lot more freedom um, and flexibility in where they sit and how they sit. Uh, they're not just confined to rows of desks. Take an expo to the glass and work and write on the floor and write on this collaborative space where we have these whiteboards. To actually sit and have these groups, it makes it more welcoming. The so kids can pull out their Chromebooks or laptops. They can also use the um, Prometheum board to collaborate on. So um, it's really about flexibility. Collaboration also allows our students to design, develop bigger plans. So, so adding on to their own great ideas with the great ideas of other students. It takes it from this is my classroom, this is where we work, to this is my space and we can all work together. Kids are talking to each other. They're learning different methods of communication, verbal communication, um, body language communication, and it just m makes them better at everything that they do. It really helps prepare our students for the type of work they're going to be doing whenever they get into college and then into the workforce. We live in a global society. Communication collaboration is a 21st century skill that we definitely want to instill in our students.